Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trilogy. Hope everyone's having a fantastic morning, new night, travel are in the world. And as per usual with these particular streams, I am joined by the roommate Ronen. And we're going to continue last left off. We are also joined not only by my dog, but my cat today. They both decided to sit with us. Yes. Ignore my voice, I am finally recovering from the sickness. Yeah, that's why last week we didn't uh, do Phoenix right, so... I couldn't even speak last week. Yeah. I couldn't speak that well last week either, so... I was yeah. not... This morning was the first morning I had that wasn't super painful. Yeah. So I was still recovering, but much better than it was. Alrighty then. October 14th, 9.41 a.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 4. Nick! <laughs> so rude. What is it this time? You won't believe how many people are here for the trial! Well, it is a murder case. What are you talking about? They're here for the trial next door! What? Uh... Next door? Wait a second, I'm gonna... Try this way. Yeah, that okay. sounds better. It sounds less tingy. <laughs> tingy. Don't. Why don't you know this, Nick? They're having Detective Atme's trial today! Detective Atme? They say they're going to try him for, uh, as Mask to Mask. Already? That was fast. Boy, I'd love to see Mask to Mask trial. I know. The light. It's Ron. <laughs> I know. I, th I think. By the way, where's Pearls? Oh, she went back home. She said she can't neglect her training anymore. <laughs> I know you don't like me. Pearls has really gotten into her training lately, huh? At least I think it's Ron, but we'll see if it is and we're not in a second. Is it Gumshoe? <laughs> it could easily be either. It could be either one, honestly. Yeah, ever since that incident last year. It's Ron. Please, don't ignore me! So I did remember correctly, it is Ron. <laughs> oh, Mr. Delight, good morning! Just learn to speak up a bit, bro. I get it, like, trust me, I get it. I'm soft-spoken <laughs> when I'm not on stream, like, trying to be... Bruh, but, like, come on. <laughs> yeah. No one likes me. No one would notice me, even if I kill... <laughs> I wanted to kill myself. <laughs> Killed someone. You know, we say Nyx is technically Serpentious, but he's also got a bit of Ron in him. You're not wrong. <laughs> As he turns away to sulk. <laughs> you wanna come say hi? Nyx? Nyx? <laughs> oh my god! Straight up ignoring <laughs> you. <laughs> no. Nyx? Nyx? Come say hi? Come hi. Come say hi? Come here! Hi. You wanna say hi? Oh, he's used to that meaning going to the door to say hi to someone at the door. Uh, say hey, hi to people here. Come here. Come, come. Hello. He's like, I don't know what to do. Hello. Huh? Hi. Can you kiss? A kiss? A kiss? Come on. Me? <laughs> <laughs> Not the ball. <laughs> he's like, I want to go with the ball, though. Aww. You floopy eared. Floopy, floopy ears. So happy now. <laughs> Good enough. Oh my goodness. Come on, don't be silly. Wait a sec. You don't mean you're the murderer? No! I'm just a poor thief! No, wait, that's not right. A thief can't really be poor. I mean, they can. Well. That's often, if, that's often why they're thieves. <laughs> there's a difference between a successful thief and a eh thief. <laughs> yeah. No, let's see. According to Mr. Delight, from his second crime on, he was following a bunch of set plans. Plans that someone had been sending... Hi. <laughs> sending to him to help him commit the heists. 
You dropped it. Dad, I want the ball back. <laughs> you can take it. But you dropped it. That means you can Go gotta... take it. Get your ball. Go take the ball. I have to step on Dad, and I don't know if he's like... <laughs> he's like, I don't want to step on Dad. <clears throat> He'll... Bro, you, you can take it. <laughs> take your ball. Here. Go ahead. There you go. Good boy. <laughs> what is my dog? I don't know, man. Do you really think there's a connection between the thief and the murder? Do I Nick? truly even own a dog? I, I know I have a raccoon. No, you have a child. You I, have, I really you, do. <laughs> you have a fur baby. I have a child and a raccoon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's okay. Hey, my boy. You a good boy. You a good There's a reason why people call them fur babies. They are children. <laughs> It's possible, but today's trial is a race against the clock. Huh? How come? Let's just take our time like always. I'm afraid that's not an option. I do apologize for the sniffling. I know sometimes I have allergies and stuff, but it, you know. It when, happens. When you're sick and allergy season's coming around, oh boy! Spring kind of hit us earlier than typical. We tend to have warm and then cold. But it, it, it's not like a but our maritime, gradual thing. It's just kind of like hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold. Yeah, our maritime weather's weird. <laughs> everything melted last night, and then tonight it's supposed to feel like minus 26 Celsius. I shut the windows tonight. For sure. Oh, dear. Court is now in session. <laughs> Bless you. Bless you. Yeah. For the trial of Mr. Ron Delight. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Oh, fuck. You're ready? Preparation is the, the last refuge for the week. Did you just not prepare? <laughs> okay. Of the week. Who pissed in your cornflakes, bud? Or his coffee, I guess. Yeah. Okay, settle down. Let's begin with your opening statement, Mr. Godot. Uh, he's got the judge in the palm of his hand yet again. Yeah, it's gonna be a little different today because I'm already raspy, so even Phoenix is gonna have too much rasp. <laughs> Ron Delight is simply too young to be sent to war, that's all. Who's talking about war? Right? I'm afraid I have no idea what that means, Mr. Godot. <laughs> then you need to get more... Need to get out more, Your Honor. Okay. <laughs> he just stares! He's like, can I get loves now? Life is war. But that is exactly why you must be more precise in your wording. That's all my statement means. You understand now, right? Yes. Well then, let me briefly summarize the details of this case. Wow. The judge is <laughs> taking charge like he knows what's going on for a change! <coughs> That's lovely! Oh my. Dad face. Dad face, door. The victim is Kane Bullard. Bullard, whatever we decided. CEO of KB Security. King Bullard. Bullard. All depending on if like his name is actually French or not, no. you, would, you would say Bullard, but... We have no clue. His body was found in a safe at approximately 9am on the morning of the 13th. However, the time of death was estimated as 1am of the previous day. And that's when our little lost kitten dropped the ball. <laughs> that little lost kitten is, of course, the defendant. Hmm. Don't play into his weird mindset. <laughs> <laughs> Very well then, Mr. Godot. Please call your first witness. Boop. The snoot. The snoot. Say, so I just want to be involved. 
I wish I had like a second cam- like, at some point I want to say set up a second camera just for the dog. <laughs> Puffo cam. Puffo cam. I need to have that when I start streaming too. I'll probably just give him a seat next to me. So he'll feel involved. E. I never drink m more than 17 cups of coffee during any given trial. But the first one is always the best. Um, Mr. Godot, your witness? Okay then, let's hear what the defendant, Mr. Rhonda Light, has to say for himself. The defendant? Well, Mr. Wright, does the defense <coughs> have any objections? Who? <coughs> you good? That was weird. <laughs> It may be a bit of a disadvantage having the defendant testify, but... Now let's do this! I remember when Mio was defending me. She allowed me to testify so she could cross... do the cross-examination. She put a lot of trust in me back then. We have no objections, Your Honor. The defense will allow Mr. Delight to testify. Oh boy. You got guts, Trite. Bro, you said this is like your first trial. Shut up. Alright then, Mr. Ron Delight. Please take the stand. Who's a cozy frumpy? So cozy. <laughs> he just does not give a shit. Nope. It's gonna be happy when it's actually fully spring, though. And I'll probably leave the window open. I'm soon. gonna have to get him flea treatment and a leash. Cause... Oh, uh, for... He's gonna go on wax. But I need to get him a, a different, um harness. Mm. He needs one that has more space in the center so he can't slip out. Mm. You did it, didn't you? Yes. What? Uh... No, 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 no. Th that's not true. Hmm. What the fuck just happened? <laughs> for a moment there, I thought we'd set the world record for the so shortest trial ever. Uh-huh. <coughs> Did I fucking swallow hair? What is happening? You may have swallowed <coughs> hair, or you it's probably like Rick's still recovering from being sick. Probably. Because <coughs> you got sick right after our last um, Yakuza thing, when your throat was all kinds of fucked up. Yeah. So I think that was like the sign that you were getting sick, and also that was the time I was saying like, yeah, my throat's been really bothering me today after I worked out, and yeah. then... Give me a second, I'm gonna give a good old cough and not have you guys hear it. Excuse me. That cleared it. Hey. At least for now. <laughs> <sighs> well, Mr. Delight already looks plenty guilty with that face he's making. And once he opens his big mouth, he'll probably be putting <laughs> put the last nail in his own coffin. Very well. Now then, can you tell me something? If you didn't kill Bullard, why did you go to KV security? Well, I... That's kind of hard to say. Boy, I wish I could go home. Now then, let's hear some testimony about what happened. My nose is still so stuffings. There's Kleenex behind you. Oh, I've blown my nose all day. It's actually started bleeding a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> There's not much I can do. Oh dear. It's just clogged at that point where, like, I sound na nasally no matter what I do. Yeah. That evening around 1 a.m., I went to see Mr. Bullard in his office at KB Security. The blackmail letter I got, it ordered me to go there. I've been working for KB Security until the un, until the year ago, until a year ago, so I knew where his office was. One a.m. The exact time the murder took place. The weak get washed away by the tides of fate. The strong drink it up. <laughs> it's bitter today too, just like my destiny. They'll never know 
that from the way he's chugging it down. <laughs> Mr. Wright, your cross-examination, if you please. Who keeps supplying Godot with his fucking coffee? Probably Gumshoe. <laughs> you know what, you're right. <laughs> okay. Hello. Do you want to be involved in the stream? We'll get you a puppo cam, okay? And you can sit there being cute, and people might even do donos if we do like a, a thank miss thing. They mm -hmm. might donate so we can give you like treats and pats and stuff like that. Hey? People donate. <laughs> people donate money to charity so we can give you pets. Hey, all the loves, and then we give you new toys if they or treats if they give you like a certain amount of money. <clears throat> if they give a certain amount of money, we get you a new toy. Hey, we take one out of the <laughs> box and give it to you. You think what? Huh? We'll Hi, bud. We'll have a special basket just for you, full of toys, and then if someone donates enough money, we give you a new one. He's like, okay, take the ball. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah? That was your phone. Whom's does wants the sting? Who be DMing me, bish? I'm busy. I'm busy, go away. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I'm good. That's you, by the way. It ordered you there? It was the first time I'd gotten a blackmail letter that ordered me to go somewhere. Does that mean you've gotten other blackmail letters, then? Oh, of course. They'd say things like, steal this or take that. <laughs> Why don't you save those for later, Mr. Delight? Please don't say anymore! Now, what should I... What should... What do I do? Brain. I was <laughs> like, what should I do? What do da do 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 do? Boop! You got eye khakis. Give me your face. Yeah, I don't have eye khakis. You have eye khakis. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> He's just got that accusatory look. No. I... You. You do. You has eye khakis, not me. There you go. Oh, goodness. <laughs> so what did the blackmail letter in question say? It said bring 50,000. Money, eh? The perfect motive for- oh, please don't lick my hand. Slobbery boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> what, what happened? What did I do? The look on his face. <laughs> Hello. I still love you, but icky. A perfect motive for committing murder. Oh yeah, when I called my mom today, Benji said, all of a sudden, jumping on her chair. She's like, when did you start this? I went, mom, he's a poodle. <laughs> he's a puppy poodle. He jumped. <laughs> he's a circus dog, and he's a baby. Yeah. So yes, he's gonna be nuts. <laughs> We need to bring Benji back so they can play. Oh, but wait, wait! No, he's, <laughs> he's slapping me with his paw like, Dad, stop. What do you mean, wait? <laughs> stop talking in these voices and give me attention. I never intended to pay that money anyway. Stop it, what are you doing? <laughs> Probably sees something out there like a squirrel or whatever. Things are moving around in the darkness. Oh. Stooge. Come here! Oh. Raccoon kitty. He is the raccoon. You're my best raccoon boy. Hello. No! <laughs> no, I'm already getting kissed by one human. Mix is like me too. You kiss? Can you kiss me? No. <laughs> oh, big stretch. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> You're just gonna take his spot? <laughs> Hello, Bumpy. Knowing that little shit? Yes, he will. Who's just that shit? <laughs> uh, boo. Gentle. He might slap you. Mix. Leave him. 
Cool boy, Nick. Okay. All right. I've said this. Okay. Oh, is that right? After all, he had nothing to hold over my head. If I, uh, I had nothing to be afraid of. Hmm. <coughs> <coughs> An important point indeed. Witness, let's have that added to your testimony. Hello, my kitten. Yes, sir. <laughs> Who is best boy? Not him. You is douchebag. But I love you. Let's <laughs> trick you. <laughs> My mud skipper in outer <laughs> in outer space has a better chance of surviving than I do. Just what were you being blackmailed about anyway? The blackmail letter said if you don't want your identity revealed, correct? I'm sure it was referring to the whole mask to mask thing. But I wasn't worried. Mr. Buller didn't have anything on me. He didn't? Anyway, I don't care what anyone says about me. Just as long as Desi believes in me. So that's why Mr. Light didn't believe he was masked to mask. The boys. Little boy. This is my life. <laughs> That's why I knew they were just hollow threats. Cozy bubble. Cozy bubble. He's like, what? <laughs> this was like, what the fuck? Mm. security chief for KB security, right? Yes, that's what I just said. <laughs> yes, that's right. The security chief! You! Well. And yet, a year ago you were fired without notice. Revenge for an old grudge? Perfect motive for murder, wouldn't you say? Hmm. This isn't good. Maybe I should change the subject. Why? Why were you fired? <laughs> it's like, eh, I normally can't, can't clean my tail. Dad's holding my tail for me. <laughs> Gives me the chance. <laughs> Mr. Delight, please tell us why you were fired from your job. Well... The world is filled with those who have said, I wish I had never asked that. Okay, then I take it back. <laughs> Dependent, please answer the question. I... well... I needed money. You needed money? Um, well, you see, Desi loves to spend it. It's kind of her hobby. <laughs> <coughs> Not exactly the best hobby... Hobby? Uh, hobby? The best hobby in the world. <coughs> I don't know that Frumpkin is literally just cleaning his tail on toes. Like, this is just what yep. he does. Not exactly the best hobby in the world, huh, Nick? My salary wasn't nearly enough. So, I stole data from the company. Ooh. Come again? KB Security... KB. KB Security has... Why you lick me? I... <laughs> I clean dad. <laughs> your, how is your foot, like... My cat forgets he has a spine sometimes. <laughs> KB Security has a lot of security info on all sorts of... <laughs> all sorts of companies. 
And since I was a security team chief, you stole some data and sold it. Mr. Bullard found, Bullard found out and I was fired immediately. I'm not doing that with my throat right now. <laughs> That's fine. I wish I'd never asked that. I was somehow able to keep it secret and made it seem like I had quit my own job. Quit on my own. What is it, Nick? You don't look so good. Someone who brings harm to their company is fired as punishment. You'd do well to remember that. He sure told you. <laughs> that trick you go. Are you okay? Are you grumpy? Are you comfy? I can never tell. You're slow blinking like you're content with your tail's twitching. What do you need? Excuse me. What do you think need? Are you boozy? Are you upset? <laughs> I, you send so many mixed signals. What do you need? He is the biggest mix signal cat ever. Slow blinking. <laughs> just relaxing, but then I'm still mad at you. <laughs> what do you need? Hmm? Do you want to be here? Because you're not struggling. <laughs> or do you want to leave? He looks half asleep. It's just the funniest shit in the world. Is, is this just like bedtime grumpies? <laughs> okay, you want to leave. There you go. You made a choice. <laughs> Jeez. Next, leave him. Hey, go touch. Bedtime grumpies. Bedtime grumpies. <clears throat> so you admit that you stole <clears throat> da data from your company, is that correct? Yes, I'm sorry. Don't apologize to me. It's also not what this trial is about, so it doesn't really matter besides it just being part of a testimony. Fuck, I need to burp. Oh man, the judge works up too many burps, but uh, like I didn't mean Grosberg. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He just made you hiccup. He made me hiccup and burp constantly. <laughs> Fuck. I still remember watching the first time you voiced him, just be like, "No, <laughs> why hiccups?" <laughs> well, it brought on like the painful ones. <laughs> yeah, I did. I remember. This is a, b a very important fact. A very important fact. Please add it to your testimony. Oh man, this whole thing just took a big turn for the worse. Crashed and blew up. It's gonna take the jaws of life to rip this case from the clutches of a di of disaster. Prepare me for selling company secrets, but does it does not know about that. Is what were you being blackmailed about anyway? Oh yeah, the blackmail. Yeah, we did that. Objection! Oh, this is no. I'm afraid that reason isn't going to help any. Uh, hold up anymore. What do you mean? The victim had no proof the defendant was mask to mask. But you were the one who. S Stole the company's secrets only one year earlier. But, but, that was all over with once I was fired. But it is true that, okay, it is true that the fact I stole secrets was kept under wraps. Even so, there was no reason for me to pay up now a whole year later. Hmm, is that really true? What is it, Nick? The fact that Ron was stealing company data. I wonder if he would have had a problem if that. Uh, if he would have had a problem if that ever became public knowledge. Yes. Mr. Delight, I believe you 
would have been a con inconsiderable trouble. If your identity is a company data thief was made public. Yeah? Yeah! <laughs> Mr. Wright, what are you trying to do by bullying your own qu I am questioning him, not bullying. Sir, it's cross-examination. Fuck you. <laughs> Men are like colonies of bacteria. The more heat you apply, the faster they grow. That's exactly right. What is happening? <laughs> I don't know. Man. Well then, feel free to keep up the heat, my little lawyer amigo. Little lawyer amigo? Yes, now come on. Provide some advice to back up your assertion. Evidence, not advice. I said advice? You said advice. <laughs> Evidence to back up your assertion. Evidence! Why would Mr. Delight want to keep his data stealing secret from going public? His wife don't like thieves Me. and criminals. He loves his wife very much. <laughs> his boo don't like that shit! <laughs> Mr. Delight, what you said just now doesn't match what you told me yesterday. Huh? What doesn't? I think you must have been scared. Very scared. Your wife would have run you over in a second. <laughs> of having a certain person find out your secret. Yeah. <sighs> a certain person? <laughs> The old lady. <laughs> Miss Desiree Delight, the defendant's wife. But, but I... Listen to me. My Desi, she... She's... Looks like if I just sit back and relax, the fun will end before it truly begins. Ah, good dot. Such a dumb name. Yeah, my foot... <laughs> my foot's on the chair. I'm just like... Yeah, we know. It was all your wife's fault. What do you mean? Mr. Delight stole company data to pay for his wife's spending habit, for which he was fired. Unable to face his own wife, someone used his dirty little secret to blackmail him. Bleh! Bleh. <laughs> and that is how the murder came about. Oh, hmm. No, everything's falling neatly into place for him. <laughs> the one time. D don't talk about my Desi like that. Or you'll be sorry. <laughs> or you'll be sorry. sorry. Oh, you fucking Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck knows? Well, it seems... That we've learned a great deal of things here, so far. So what do you think, Nick? I didn't think it was possible to get so thoroughly <laughs> wiped in just 20 minutes. I just said wiped. Whipped. Whipped. Clearly there was- oh, my nose. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> you know when you have a cold and it gets really dry? <coughs> Yes. It just ah the bird. <laughs> oh, because the the judge requires a bit of vibration. Mm-hmm. Well, all sound is vibration, but it causes more. And owie. Yeah. Clearly, there was sufficient motive for murder. He stole. Oh, that is for his wife. Hey, he killed to protect his secret. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> family man who cared just a little too much. The motive is clear. Let's move on. Ugh. What happened at the crime scene at, at one in the mor at one in the morning, Mr. Delight? Come on. 
Come now, tell us. We're all ears. <laughs> Still smiling. <laughs> okay. <laughs> At the CEO's office. When I entered the office, there was a suspicious, suspicious, suspicious shadow there. It bitch slapped me. <laughs> Suddenly, I was hit on the forehead. After that, I remember being a bit dazed. If I hadn't been wearing uh, that, I would have been killed. From a smack to the forehead! When I came to, Mr. Bullard was lying there dead. Grab me the um, USB. Whisper? Yeah, it's connected to a controller, so you'll have to disconnect it. How far back do you go? It, it's long. <laughs> I don't want to pull it too far and then smack it into something. Ding! If I pulled too hard, it was going to smash it into the mic, and I was like, let's be careful. Yeah. <sighs> Would have been a lot of vibrations. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Suddenly hit on the forehead, huh? I believe the detective from yesterday provided similar testimony. He said that Mask to Mask struck him on the head from behind. Of course, since Atme turned out to be the culprit himself, that was all a lie. Huh. No one's gonna believe a pathetic lie like that. What are you saying? I was really attacked! We'll find out if what you say is true or not during the cross-examination. So many yards! Ugh. Got that, Mr. Trite? Don't go easy just because he's your client. If I see any sign that you are, I'll treat you to another cup of my special blend. So you're gonna chuck it at my face? You do realize that you could have been charged last time. That is a very hard object you threw at my face with scalding liquid in it. You don't need to worry about that, Mr. Godot. I have faith in Ron. I know he didn't do it. Mm, you believe he didn't. We don't know. At the CEO's office. <sighs> what the fuck were you wearing? That? Could you please clarify what you're referring to? Why, my mask to mask costume, of course. Wait just a moment! Mask to mask? Huh? Oh, did I forget to mention it before? He was aggressive with the costume, like... Just to be on the safe side, I dressed as mask to mask. And then I descended upon the office of the CEO of KB Security. What? <laughs> what if I could? Nick, Nick, did you know about this? He never told me this. <clears throat> I don't recall him ever mentioning it to me either. Ha! <laughs> Even I didn't know that. It seems our little friend really loves to keep secrets. Good thought, are you fucking short circuiting? What's happening? <laughs> I'm sorry. I just never had a chance to mention it up till now. Except for all the time I was on the stand. Ah! Wait. That's not right. Um, you know how sometimes things just slip your mind? <laughs> My sixth cup, co cup of coffee is staring up at me coldly. Bro, you need to relax in the coffee. <laughs> Holy fuck. At any rate, we can't ignore this new piece of evi uh, information, not evidence. You know what, thank god he only drinks coffee, because if he'd be drinking espresso, he'd be dead. Yeah. I think even if someone was drinking seven- well, no, there are some people that are like so hooked on caffeine that they are drinking ungodly amounts in a day. It's like scary. Especially if you look at Japanese business people. 
see you exactly what I mean. And they have the deadly cocktail of drinking a shit ton of caffeine and then drinking booze after they're, they're done work. Yeah. Witness, please correct your testimony. My mask, mask, costume. I kill okay. Why were you dressed up as mask to mask? Why? Because I'm mask to mask, of course. What are you talking about? Judge, stop working up burps. Mask to Mask's trial is being held next door. Uh, yes, I guess so. Anyway, ignoring that, at that time, I thought I was being blackmailed over the uh, Mask to Mask issue. So I thought I should go as him just to be safe. Oh boy. Let me tell you, it's a real pain to move around with that cape. That's why it took a lot longer than I expected. Took a lot longer? What are you talking about? Press harder. Um, what do you mean by took a lot longer? Oh, opening the safe, of course. My cape got caught on the, the safe door, you see. This all happened when I was hiding Mr. Bullard's body. Still talking about this like it's a normal thing. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Back up a second <coughs> while I try and clear my throat. <laughs> yes? You were the one that hid the body in the safe? It was Ron Delight in the office with a freaking safe. Yeah. Oh, Rod Delight. Inconceivable! <laughs> why? Just why? What is? What reason could you have? What were you thinking? Question. When does someone toss their dirty shorts and... What the fuck, man? Like, I tend to talk with comparisons and shit because I'm a neurodivergent motherfucker. But what? You're in the court of law. Shit doesn't work like that. Who's the saxophone in the goddamn stands and just like on cue? <laughs> I mean, there is no one that is a sax. Someone may be playing one. Shut up. <laughs> Read your lines. <laughs> when does someone toss their dirty shorts in the washing machine? Um, I would hope every day. What? The answer is simple. When they take them off. As usual, I have no idea what you're saying. Do you mean that Mr. Delight hid the body because of the... He's the murderer? <laughs> so you're not as stupid as you look. His metaphor is, his metaphor this time was really obscure. Mr. Wright, you don't mean that you knew about this whole safe business, do you? Oh, uh, well, yes. Why am I the only one not in the loop here? You're never in the loop, bro. It's, it, it is a you thing. It's a you thing. <laughs> Witness, make sure you add this to my testimony. My testimony? To the testimony. <laughs> He's like, I'm so upset I'm getting involved here. My testimony. What? <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, my goodness. Uh-oh. Looks like a storm front is moving in over the... <laughs> the Fairweather Judge. Can I keep going safe? Took about 10 minutes. Why did you hide the body in the safe anyway? Well, because it wouldn't fit in the drawer! 
Uh, that's not exactly what I meant. When I saw that corpse, I kind of lost it. I thought, if they find his corpse, they'll think I did. If they- you just called cops. They show up, you explain what you were doing, and that they'll study the body. Now your fingerprints are all over, like, now you are involved. You wouldn't have been if you just called. Well... He'd get in shit for what he was doing, but not for murder. He would still be, like, the prime fucking suspect. Yes, but there's a difference between being a prime suspect and being proven guilty by putting your fingers all over things. And, like, moving a body and making you yourself really seem guilty. <laughs> Instead of being like, look, alright, I was stealing shit, but, like, I found a body. Y'all need to check this out. <laughs> like, there's a difference. I thought if they find his corpse, they'll think I did it. I think you had a simpler reason than that. It's because you killed him. That's why you spent ten minutes hiding the body. Hmm. That certainly makes more sense. This is why you, you, you just called the police to be like, Look, I was doing some shady shit, but I'm no killer. <laughs> Hold on. Ten minutes? What is it, Nick? Oh my god. Yeah, we're both doing, like, pops and, <coughs> and, and bubbles. What is it, Nick? I just had a thought. Shocking. Under those circumstances, would you normally try to hide the body- You're just thinking of this now! And spend ten whole minutes to do it? Under those circumstances? What circumstances? Oh! The ones we're talking about! Hey, Nick! Do you think his behavior was so- if you think his behavior is so strange, why don't you present some evidence that would show just what those circumstances were? That's it! <laughs> this is full on Dora the Explorer. I'll take a look! Haha! <laughs> a map. Okay. I'm just gonna go. tissues in here. Yeah, they're right behind. The box is like... Oh. Yeah. I think I got the last one. Mm. Pass me the box. Let me see. Yep. Yep, okay. Bye-bye! <laughs> <laughs> I need to do trash later anyway, so it's fine. What do I do? Making sure I didn't have like a main plea again. Fair enough. Your Honor, could you take a look at this, this record? <laughs> and what might this be? If you read it, you will find out. The record for the emergency buzzer that connects to the CEO's uh, office. The, that connects the CEO's office to security. <laughs> Wolf. If the button in the office is pressed. A security team is supposed to come up, come running. Gadot has thoughts, but no, no words. Excuse me, guys. Jesus Christ. <laughs> You're a mess. And according to this record, the buzzer that was pushed, uh, the buzzer was pushed once at 1:02 a.m. What? If Mr. Ron Delight truly was the murderer, he would have. He would have ran as soon as that buzzer sounded. After all, a security guard would have been heading his way. Objection. Let's remember who we're dealing with here. He probably had no idea there were security personnel in the building, even he though he worked there a year prior. <laughs> of course, he knew. He was one. <laughs> Other company, of course he knew. Up until one year ago, my client was working as chief of security. Yeah, uh, 
It's like not even- Oh, he was a lowly guard. No, he was the chief. Why wouldn't he know? There's no way he wouldn't have known about them. But as it turns out, the guards the guard never came. He don't fucking know that. Because they didn't come, that means he he knew. <laughs> right. That was nothing more than a coincidence. The fact that the guard was a pathetic <laughs> loser. <Woo! laughs> Who had just gotten punched in the face by his ex ex's new I thought his I said ex new boyfriend. I was like, what the fuck is this even what does that mean? His ex's new boyfriend. And wasn't anywhere in the vicinity, uh, was not something Mr. Delight could have known. Objection! <laughs> Objection! Well, fuck. <laughs> Again, remember who we're dealing with here. There's... It's a sure bet that Mr. Delight didn't even notice... How? Uh... A Giant sure buzzard. bet. Buzzard? Buzzard. Buzzer. The giant screaming thing? Yeah, I'm sure he didn't notice. This buzzer is extremely loud. There is no way he could have ignored something. Yeah, like we that. actually accidentally sounded off the other day. Uh huh? If he had been conscious, that is. Conscious? Oh, right! Bonk! What do you mean by that? Was he hit? Was he Karela? No? Okay. Fine. Let's hear your theory. I thought he was gonna fucking chug it. <laughs> right. <sighs> Recall the defendant's testimony. The moment he entered the victim's office, someone attacked him. Mr. Delight said he felt dazed. This is called a concussion. <laughs> I'm willing to wager that he was knocked unconscious for at least a few minutes. Unconscious? So he fainted? No, he got knocked the fuck out! <laughs> My god! That's why Mr. Delight didn't know that the buzzer had sounded. And that's why he thought he had time to hide the body. Like a dumbass, but yeah. Br br I'm short circuiting, sir. Well, he is short circuiting, so. What are you trying to say? B fucking. What do you mean? What do you think I'm trying to say, you dumb fuck? Jesus! <laughs> Mr. Delight was knocked out, and the buzzer went off soon afterwards. Now, unless my client was able to hit the buzzer while he was unconscious. It can only mean there was another person in the room. Do we all follow now? <laughs> My god. That's right, whoever it was, they knocked out Ron Delight and then pressed the buzzer. Hello, wind. Order! Order in the court! Mr. Wright, this- this is... Logical! Preposterous! <laughs> this is preposterous. It, it was this kid- So what? Ron Delight- <laughs> It was this kid, Ron Delight, is the one who killed Kane. No! You have- How old is this Ron? Twenty-three. Okay, whatever. It's not really a kid, but okay. Even though all your evidence is proving otherwise, we know for a fact he killed him. <laughs> like, bruh! Then who pressed the big red button? <laughs> it was the ghosts of all the people from the old shit. You know, like the old... It the... was the 13 ghosts of Scooby-Doo. <laughs> fuck's sake. The victim, of course. He did. I refuse to believe anything that happened <laughs> if it's not in my ideas. 
He pressed the buzzer when the defendant attacked him. He didn't die right away. He must have held on long enough to push that button. Sir. What's the fucking... Nope. You have... Cerebral hemorrhaging from blunt trauma. His time of debt was at 1 a.m. The buzzer was pushed at 1.02. You have Enough the said. autopsy report to look at! Enough said! <laughs> hmm. So even though I have all this evidence presented to me and I have read it, I believe that Kane Bullard sounded the buzzer himself. Fuck you, Judge. <laughs> what is your opinion on this, Mr. Wright? Uh, bullshit? I need to prove that the real criminal was there at the scene. <laughs> This is not hard to do! <laughs> this is one of the- Jesus Christ, the wind. Oh, it's been nuts since last night. This is one of the dumber moments of questioning we've had where it's like so like, it's already been spelled out. Mm -hmm. I need to prove that the real criminal was there at the scene, but how? Can I prove that it wasn't Kane Bullard who sounded the buzzer? Yes. <laughs> we have literally gone over this the ceo buzzer <laughs> he got bonk also he's go wearing gloves he's wear gloves <laughs> i wear love gloves. how our our grammar has just gone out the window because we're angry at this <laughs> the defense's opinion is this your honor this piece of evidence proves that it wasn't the victim who sounded the buzzer he was oh he, he he doesn't have gloves so and there's no fingerprints he was dead bro there's no fingerprints, bro. I believe this is the piece of, uh, in... Incontrovertible evidence. Thank you. <laughs> Incontrovertible evidence you were looking for. The emergency buzzer? Is there some kind of clue on it? Actually, it's the opposite. There is no clue. And the absence is what makes it a big clue. <laughs> Absolutely not. Hey, come on now. At least give some thought into what you say before opening your mouth. The fact that there are absolutely no clues is itself the clue. I did not know he said that, even though I, I kind of said it very similarly to him. <laughs> we all know this, Judge. Now I'm the one who's clueless suddenly, only now, never prior. <laughs> This button has no fingerprints on it. If Mr. Bullard had really pressed it himself, naturally he would have left his fingerprints behind. <laughs> he short circuiting. Ron Delight. Obviously wipe them off. You wouldn't need to. Why would he? A guard could have come in at any moment. He touched that button. I <laughs> He's resorting to like playground arguments. I love this. He touched it. I know, I know he did. did. <laughs> you can't prove it. I, he did. He touched it. <laughs> Shut up, Gadot. Carry on. I know he did. The defendant, Mr. Delight, was dressed as Mask to Mask. And Mask to Mask always wears gloves. What reason could he possibly have to wipe the button free of fingerprints? I believe I said fingerprints, but that's okay. <laughs> order! 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 I don't have much oomph in my voice today, but I don't care. <laughs> the fuck you want? Huh, <laughs> it would seem. Ding. Ding. I received a reel. Your mouse, I just dropped in my snake tank. Huh? Why you send me this, bruh? I first, I don't have a mouse. I have a snake.
It was worth it. <laughs> worth it. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that was not something I was expecting to see. <laughs> I was just like, what the fuck are real? What do you mean? I've been forced to eat crow. I wonder what blend number crow flavored coffee is. <laughs> 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 Who's to say? He's made so many fucking blends. However, if the real Cyril. Cyril. Cyril Killen. That's what I was about to say. See, if the real killer... I was gonna say serial killer, but I was like, that's not there. Serial -il -il. Serial -il -il. If the real killer was there at the scene, why would that person press the emergency buzzer? Shouldn't they have run away without putting themselves in extra danger? Mmm. Frame job, bud. <laughs> What's with that awkward si <laughs> <laughs> Why are you both so tense? What's with this awkward silence all of a sudden? It looks like you're fresh out of parlor tricks. They're on to you, Nick! <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Just give me a minute to collect my thoughts. The real culprit killed Mr. Bullard around 1 a.m. And Mr. Delight just happened to waltz in... Oh, man. My ticks are bugging me. Waltz in when the murder was... Take... Yeah? Was taking place, right? Oh, that's you. That was Maya. Oh. Well, wait <laughs> now. The killer clobbered Mr. Delight. And... Why it... Hi, <laughs> puppy. Uh, uh, buzzer. Okay. Hit the thing until this sound goes away. Okay. <laughs> My, my ticks are bothering me, the wind's going, a plane is going by, Nyx jumped up, Frumpkin went between my legs so there was fuzz on me, I hit sensory overload like a motherfucker. <laughs> I was sitting here like, everything's happening at once, <laughs> but I need to read and speak. Who? He's fine, Nyx, leave him alone. Oh my god. Damn. <laughs> I was always like, are you okay? And he's like, Every flip it! I went, oh, okay. <laughs> Every sense is being overwhelmed. <laughs> Shut up, phone. No one cares about you right now. Even though security was supposed to respond right away if the buzzer was pressed. Phoenix. <laughs> security was supposed to respond. Hmm. 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 It's almost like we've heard this already! Time's up. <laughs> Time's up, Mr. Wright. Let's hear what you have to say. What if I haven't come up with anything? <laughs> Very well, then. Uh oh, you've got some guts. I like that in, in an opponent, even though this is my first trial. So I don't even know what I... <laughs> what is normal. Why did the real killer sound the emergency buzzer? To call the security guard! Of course! <laughs> the killer knew that if they pressed that button, a guard would come running. And that was exactly what they wanted. Do you mean to say the killer called the guard on purpose? That's literally what I just said to you, yes. Yes. Although, as it turned out, he never showed up. Because he was getting his clock cleaned at the time. What a touching story. You're saying the killer had a change of heart and called the security guard to turn himself in? No. No. No, I'm not. It was a frame job. Like literally every job I have done prior to this, framing. <laughs> when that buzzer sounded, there were three people in that office. The victim, Kane Bullard, who was already dead. The defendant, Rhonda Light, who was out cold. And the third person, the real killer.
brain how... Hypothetically. Is... No, I, I know that now. I looked at it. My brain almost said holiopathically. <laughs> I don't know what that word is. It's not real. I don't know what it was supposed to mean in my brain. But, um, you know... Homeopathy, like you treat some, or holistic medicine people talk about. Yeah. What the fuck is holiopathetically? <laughs> is this some biblical medicine combined with like just being nonsensical? Regardless, and <laughs> imagination and re non-existent words aside, hypothetically, yes. Now then. In this situation, if the real killer made an escape, what would happen? The only ones left in the, uh, the room would be the victim and Rhonda Light. And, and if any security guards came running in at that time, they would think I was the murderer. Murderer! <laughs> murderer! Murderer! <laughs> Just tripped over my own goddamn tongue. Murderer! Murderer! <laughs> Uh, what he said, minus the extra D's. That was pre precisely <laughs> the killer's objective. Oh dear. To frame Mr. Ron de -der 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 for the murderer. <laughs> oh sheesh. I rewatched our Yakuza thing, our last one, and holy shit, we were fucked up. Yeah. I'm gonna have to cough it. Nope, he's gonna spit it out. Cool. <laughs> I was like, his animation was too slow for him not to do something with the goddamn mm -hmm. coffee. Bunch of orders. Order! <laughs> Even your throat's not letting you do it! <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I forgot, you're old- you can't do it because you're not doing your old man pose. Titty grab! <laughs> <laughs> Works. <laughs> oh dear! Shit happens, yo! <laughs> Don't ask. Read the thing. <laughs> what old men have you met that do that? That one fuck. Shit happens, yo! <laughs> Teddy grab! <laughs> <laughs> what men in your life have you ever met that have done that? Uh uh. uh. It would seem. I have a maid to eat my words once again. Actually, you've been made to do a spit take with a coffee cup. With a cup of coffee. <laughs> She's not wrong. Miss Wright, who was it? Who was it that tried to frame me? Uh, wait. Wait a second. I'm the one and only mask to mask, so... Nick! You mean the real killer is... We're gonna drag that person in here right now. But, but... Who is it? Come on. I don't have any solid proof yet, but think about it. Who's the only other person that, that knew, makes sense? The only person that knew his uh, Mr. Delight's identity. That he had been called to KB security that night. Hello. Switch, switch, switch. Okay. He's cat watching. <laughs> uh... So the killer used him to execute a well-crafted plan to murder Kane Bullard. Okay, just because it's too goddamn loud. The wind is being very violent today, tonight. There we go. Less well, loud. Since last night and tonight. Mm. Whistly motherfucker. Sounds like freaking Wizard of Oz out there. That sounds better. Hmm. <laughs> now then. Let's hear your accusation, Mr. Wright. Who was it that framed Mr. Ron Delight for the murder of Kane Bullard? Me! <laughs> Monsieur, look at me! <laughs> Detective, look at me. He's the only one who could have done it. <laughs> uh, uh, just, uh. My brain was too slow. <laughs> Ace detective, look at me. Now say the judge. <laughs> you mean mask to mask did it? Your Honor, the person being tried in the court next to us 
is not mask to mask at all. He is, in actuality, the true murderer of Kane Bullard. Order! Order! Mr. Wright, explain yourself! Theft and murder. Which is the more serious crime? We're not even close! Murder is the more serious crime, of course! It's a capital crime to su Ooh. <laughs> subject to capital punishment! Please remember the trial from yesterday, if you would. <laughs> Sheesh. I don't know why I just had to. Oh dear. When Luke Atme confessed, there was a huge commotion in the courtroom. Of course, a famous detective was unmasked as... Uh, as... <laughs> masked a mask. Instead of being convicted... Brain. Instead of being convicted of murder, he was found guilty of grand larceny. That was his true objective all along. To be found guilty? Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, what the fuck is happening? Mask the Mask had, uh, had the perfect alibi for when the murder took place. He was stealing the urn at Lordly Taylor. In other words, being found guilty as Mask the Mask was Luke Atme's airtight, uh, airtight, watertight, and unassailable alibi? Yes. My brain right now. <laughs> A guilty verdict as an alibi? The twist! <laughs> You know, it's almost time. What, for another cup of coffee? For what? For Luke Atme's verdict. It was a pretty simple trial, after all. If I were gonna stop this trial and stall that one, we need to do it now. Of course. That's assuming you have proof that the detective was the one who committed the murder. Of course! Wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Luke Atme's trial has indeed attracted the attention of the entire country. If we were to intrude and fail to provide adequate proof of his true crime, Mr. Delight would be left with no grounds for appeal. Am I really sure about this? Yes. 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 Ha. Uh. <laughs> Freaking Seijima. Meow. Meow. I bet it's only good when your life's the. <laughs> really? Is it though? I bet it's only good when your life's the ante. Mr. Wright, I. I believe in you. Mr. Delight. <laughs> <laughs> so please. <laughs> I'm begging you. You have a twink and a twonk. You really do. There's the twonk. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, but... <laughs> Sounds like he's responding to you. There's the twonk. Thanks, Thanks but... but... <laughs> <laughs> my decision will determine the rest of your life. Oh my god. I just realized something. Hey. Ron and Desiree are like Lucifer and Lilith and Husband. Yeah, you told me that. Remember, and then I was like, I don't know anything about them. <laughs> right, and then I had to stop myself. <laughs> yeah. But now you have better context. <laughs> yes. Can I really risk your life like this? You've done it many times. Uh -huh. Hi. Phoenix. Saw, dude. <laughs> what was that? What do you think that was? She's been saying hi to you forever now. You've known about this since the first case, you dumb fuck! Mm. Don't stray, Phoenix. For your client, take the path of truth. Trust. Of trust. <laughs> My apologies. Uh, sorry, I fucked up there. <laughs> I fucked up. <laughs> that voice. It, it sounds like the voice I've been able to hear for many years. How long has it been since, since she died? Two? 
You've been able to hear it for two years, bro. Mia. <laughs> I think. Your Honor, the defense requests an immediate recess. <laughs> so that's your answer, huh? Da. Very well. I've decided as well. This court will now take a 20 minute recess. Mr. Wright, when we return, please summon Mr. Luke at me to the stand. Yes, Your Honor. Oh, God. All right. <laughs> well, Sir Detective at me. Oh, this is the other... Oh, okay. I was like, the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> I have to say, Mr. Payne, you performed splendidly. Oh, no, Sir Detective at me. You're were the only one who... Okay. He's Canadian. You done jerking each other off there? <laughs> I was like, I remember him. He's Canadian. That's enough. What is this hair, though? I know it. This court sees no reason to further prolong this trial. If you'll stop sucking each other's dicks for two seconds, I can, like, you know, say some shit. This court find the, the defendant. Look at me. I completely forgot he shows up at least once in this trial. <laughs> so. He's got quite the face. I know it. <laughs> the most unprompted <laughs> I know it the... cease and desist <laughs> how dare fuck it don't hand down your verdict yet please Well, well, sir lawyer, welcome to my courtroom. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> and this is why I was like, oh, he's fucking Canadian. <laughs> Who's this hosiery? Eh? <laughs> that face, man. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> looks uh, like, he looks like I a fucking so me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this hosiery? Eh? <laughs> my name is Phoenix Wright, attorney at law. The fuck did you just call me? <laughs> And I wish to file an accusation against this man, Luke at me. An accusation? You accuse Master Mask. That man is not Master Mask. He's just a ruthless murderer. Wait. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> that face, man. There's no emotion there. Oh, he's sweating. He's sweating. To be continued. We're gonna continue and complete it. Oh yeah, we have more enough time. Did you check my own time? Not yet. No. Okay. But I should. You should very very soon. I shall. My sis? I could have sworn I heard Mia's voice. So then, she's still alive? Inside your heart? We've known this for a while now. Nikki boy. Hey, does. Oh, Miss Lloyd. Is it true that Detective is the real killer? To be honest, we don't have any definitive proof. It's gonna be hard to talk with this under my tongue, but fuck it, I don't care. <laughs> oh my God, if I put this under my tongue, I realize we talk a lot with our lips instead of our tongues right now. I just learned that. Yeah. Not using my tongue makes me sound even more noofy, and that's kind of... <laughs> you just hold her. <coughs> it works a little too well. If you stick the uh, tip of your tongue to the front of your teeth. Yup. And you just keep talking like that, that's, it just keeps you stuck. <laughs> well, shit. <coughs> oh, yeah. But wasn't he at Lordly Taylor that night? Not to mention, we don't exactly know his motive. <coughs> <laughs> his motive. <laughs> we don't exactly know his motive. <laughs> mm. 
Oh my god. I mean, why would Detective Admi want to kill Kane Bowler? Oops. It's almost time to it's almost time. Better get back to the courtroom. If I <coughs> what would you yeah, guys. I need to find some solid proof. <laughs> it's gonna happen sooner rather it's gotta happen sooner rather than later. October 14th. A lot later in the day. <laughs> Now then, this court is back in session. <clears throat> Buzzsaw activate. Mr. Luke at me. Please take the stand. Well, well, how do you do, sir lawyer? I never would have thought to see you acting so recklessly. I couldn't let them hand down your verdict just yet. Not when it would have given you the, your perfect alibi. An alibi by the name of Mask the Mask. I'm sorry, I'm afraid even the great look at me has no idea what you mean. Of course, I have been in the next courtroom ever since 10 o'clock this morning. I'm afraid there's no way I could know what's been going on in here. Shut your mouth before I boop that snoot. <clears throat> boop the snoot. You've been in the... <laughs> Did I confuse you? <laughs> I just, I'm, I'm tired, I'm being dumb. Yep. You've been in the defendant's seat all day long, correct? Being tried as mask to mask. Indeed, it's truly child's play to fool the ignorant masses. Not only did the poor fools ask me to protect their valuables, they even gave me a generous reward upon returning them their own property to them. Take this red diamond ring that sparkles upon my divine finger, for example. So you continue to insist that you are in fact Master Mask? <clears throat> of course. Very well then, look at me. I hate your name. Let us continue with this simple question. On October 12th at 1 a.m., Kane Bullard was murdered. Where were you at that time? One without knowledge lacks even the knowledge that he should be ashamed of himself. But don't worry, I will not hold it against you, Sir Judge. Um... Thanks. All right, Mr. Atme. The night of the murder. Speak. We're all ears. As you wish, sir, prosecutor. The alibi. I was stealing the urn as Master Mask, just as I announced I would. I had more than enough time to prepare. It was a pathetically easy job. A photograph contained no more words, but in this case, one turned out to be my witness. The time at which the mask... <laughs> he was flailing, now he's just like, no, just sit back. The time at which the camera captured mask the mask was the same time as the murderer. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Mm. It seems the main point of discussion will be this photo of the crime scene. Butt hats! Butt hats! <laughs> he did a hey, hey, Pupple. Hey, Pupple. Hey, Pupple. <laughs> Father, why? Father! <laughs> Father, why? <laughs> I'm gonna fucking get you. <laughs> Father, why? Good job, bud. Everything else up until now was all a part of his plan. Yeah, you dropped it. 
Yeah, it's... I'll kick it back to you if I can. Where the fuck did it go? Okay. Get your Wherever it has gone. It's under the chair somewhere. Did you read this? Yes. Okay. There has to be a uh, secret to this picture as well. Even the great master mask cannot be in two places at once. Now then, if you'll excuse me, I have a verdict to receive. Shut the fuck up and say. <laughs> Unfortunately, Mr. Atme, we still have to do your cross-examination. A fool is too foolish to know when he is a fool. You're not Francisca von Karma. Might as well be. I think he's trying to say you're full of it, Nick. You don't see. The only thing that's full of it is his alibi. You good? Oh. Leave the cat be. I'll give you butt pats. <laughs> That'll make you sit down. Okay. Eat this. If Dad gives me scritches, I will sit for anything. I believe Adrian Andrews hired you at one point. That's right. That was over 20 days ago, if I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> you sent the calling card to Lordly Taylor 10 days before the heist. That would mean you sent out the card uh, after you began your security watch, right? Indeed, there was no reason why I couldn't do both jobs at once. It was the perfect opportunity to steal my latest target. I see. You truly are evil, aren't you? I don't think being a thief is inherently evil, but okay. <laughs> yes, I am evil. What the fuck? I... <laughs> <laughs> hey, Nick. Isn't there something odd about this? Hmm? Detective Adney was always part of his ace detective skills, right? But if the urn was stolen from Lord Lee Taylor while he was the only one watching it, he'd have no way to maintain his perfect ace detective persona. You know, that's true. It is kind of odd. Photograph containing no words. So by photograph, you mean this piece of evidence here, is that correct? Indeed it is! That is it! The very thing that proves I committed the crime. The very thing that proves you committed the crime. Oh yeah, I've also noticed something. Mm. Uh, whenever there's red text, it really fucks me up. Yeah. Did you see what The Sims recently did to The Sims 4? That little icon? The I, e I heard about it. Luckily, uh, it seems like they have completely retconned it and stop the animation altogether. They s made it seem like they were, or they said they were just gonna, you know, slow the animation so it doesn't happen as often. Yeah. But from what I've been playing, it's just stopped. And I am so glad because that shit would have driven me insane. Because yeah. this kind of stuff, even just red text popping up now and then, yeah. completely, like, all of a sudden my brain's like, like focusing in multiple different places and it fucks up my reading. If I was playing a game and there was just we wah, we wah. I'd lose my fucking mind, and I don't even think I'd be able to play anymore because it it messes with me so badly. <laughs> so as soon as I got, they did basically an emergency patch because so many people were like, "What the fuck?" I can't even play; it's so distracting. So I'm happy about that. <laughs> when you think about it, it's really odd. You say that. Almost as if you had take, uh, you had this picture taken on purpose. Objection. He was simply caught by the very camera that he had set up. Do we? <laughs> we all have days like that. Indeed, it turns out that there was no such thing as the perfect crime after all. Life is truly an ironic thing. A sad blue melody. Wow. <laughs> sure, bud. As someone with depression, even I, <laughs> a little much, dude. It looks like I'd better gather more information for now. If he truly is the killer, there's gotta be something phony in that photo.
<laughs> you good? Yeah, no, I'm just sunk. <laughs> oh, I gotta press the four. Okay, no, I fucked up. That's my bad. I was only supposed to press that statement after pressing a different one. That's okay. Shit! Slow the fuck down before you do it again. Stop it. There we go. About the camera that took this photograph. Oh, come now. It's all too clear what you're thinking. Do tell me. Huh? You're thinking I altered the timestamp on the photograph, don't you? I'm afraid that's impossible. The camera was set up by Lordly Taylor, and on top of that, it was Lordly Taylor's staff that printed the, that picture's data. And there's no way anyone at Lordly Taylor could be in cahoots with someone. <laughs> Unfortunately for the defense, there's no way that picture could have been altered. I see. It looks like I'd better find something else that could be suspicious. Go through all that. There we go. Yeah. There is very thing for second the crime. Stand by now. For the camera, and though I could have with it, that means I could not have killed Kane Ballard at this time compass. Okay, there we go. Big hole in heart, but that night. Did we read this part? The basement warehouse and the picture that supposedly captures it. It's gotta be here. Isn't there something funny about this picture? Yes. There we go. Are you implying that the picture is a fake? You bet I am. There's definitely something strange about this picture. We took a look around the basement warehouse that night before the theft took place. And there's something in this photo that doesn't match my memory of that night. Very well then. Let's hear what you have to say. What about this photographer? Photograph. The funny part is right here. Wait, this... This is a blood stain! No. How did you become a judge? Oh, blood! <laughs> now this case is getting interesting! Bring back the Canadian! <laughs> uh, not exactly. This stain is actually pink paint. Oh, just paint. And peach colored it. It's black and white. What? what? First of all, it is very highlighter pink. The f or bubblegum pink. The fuck do you mean? Peach? Sir, <laughs> you looked at a black and white photo. And my dog, it's peach! What? From blood to peaches. The judge sure loves going in... Uh, Going on his wild tangents. Mm -hmm. I mean, we can't really talk, we do it all the time. But yeah. wow. The problem with this photograph is not the paint. Or this photograph, as I called it. <laughs> the problem is when you consider the layout of the basement warehouse. It turns out that something. Oh, it turns out that something that should be there is nowhere to be seen. Well, Mr. Wright, elaborate. <laughs> what is supposed to be in this picture instead of the paint stains? This lady right here. This golden statue. The supervisor of the treasure 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 exhibit uh, stated the following. Well, there's a good reason for that. On the day of the crime around noon. That golden statue just happened to arrive from the mountain training hall. I realized that the statue could be a perfect size for covering up the paint stain. That's why I put it where you first, where you first saw it. 
I myself was there the night the theft took place and saw the statue in that spot. If this picture tru uh, was truly taken on that night, then that statue should have been there. Objection. But when I went there the day after the theft, that statue of the old bag was s sitting in the corner. See that Tobias face? I fucking did. Right. <laughs> Technically he did. She's right next to us. Hmm. Perhaps it was somehow pushed there accidentally? Your Honor, this statue is slightly larger than yourself and quite heavy. It would take more than an accidental push to move at that distance. <laughs> In that case, can you prove it? Can you give us the rhyme and reason as to why that statue was moved that night? Can, can you do it, Nick? Never mind who moved it. The real question is why did they move it? Well, Mr. Wright, I hope you're prepared with your answer. No, oh, that's fucking with my brain. Now then, who uh, was the one that moved the golden statue on the night of the crime? And I wonder it could be Mr. Look at me himself. Green and red text. Woo! Ultra destructions. The one who moved the statue is none other than Luke Atney. Come now, Sir Lawyer. There you go again on one of your strange delusions. Mr. Wright, what basis do you have for your strange delusions? <laughs> Fuck you, Judge. You and your strange things you come up with in my court. Uh, it's very simple. The witness was the only one in the basement warehouse that night. That is indeed very simple. However, why would I want to move a heavy golden statue? The reason for moving the golden statue, here's where our battle really begins. Well, Mr. Wright, what reason did the witness have to move that statue? The reason can be found here in this photograph. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Look at me. You, uh, you pretended to be mask to mask to create an alibi by showing you were at Lordly Taylor that night. But this photograph contains a single fatal flaw. If the statue had been there, your lie would be exposed, uh, like cheap film at a drugstore. <laughs> oh, those are the days. That's why you had to move the statue. A single fatal flaw. Interesting theory. Please enlighten us. Just where in this picture does this lie exist? The time. Did you ever get those old cameras, the... Yes. Do you ever, like, did you ever really fuck up your thumb? Yes. <laughs> that shit hurt. They were like, they were so fun. They were convenient, but oh my god! It, well, they were convenient until you had to get the photos taken, like yeah. process and everything. Because holy shit, it took forever. Sit here for thirty minutes. You will have your photos soon. Okay. I w I hope maybe half of the thirty worked. Mhm. Mm god damn. Naturally, the lie in this photo is the timestamp. What do you mean? I'll tell you exactly what I mean. On the night in question, Luke Atme went to KB security and murdered Kane Bullard. Therefore, it's obvious. It would have been impossible for him to be at Lordly Taylor at this time. Oh, 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 oh. But what does that have to do with the statue being moved? Remember, if you will, Your Honor. When was this statue placed beside brain, burping, brain. <laughs> besides the warehouse? This is not your voice. Besides the warehouse door. Well, the statue was taken down to the warehouse on the day of the crime, and it was placed there in order to cover up the paint. Exactly. 
Luke Atney had already decided on the time when he was going to kill the victim. And so, in order to create an alibi for that time, he took this picture days before the murder took place. You just helped me figure this out, bro. Why you surprised? <laughs> what the? Of course, the statue hadn't... Oh shit, I clicked too quick. good. My bad. Ah. So on the day of the crime, Mr. Atme must have been quite nervous. As nervous as a long-tailed cat in a rocking chair factory, so to speak. Why? Because something that wasn't supposed to be there had been brought down and placed where it wasn't supposed to be. And that is why Luke Atme had to move the statue on the night of the murder. He did it to make, uh, make the room match with the way it had been in his photo. <laughs> order! Order! Mr. Atme, is this true? Instead of yes or no, one minute, Your Honor! One moment, Your Honor! Have you forgotten this? It was a yes or no question, so this is strange, but okay. What's that? The data for the basement warehouse computer. According to this, the camera did indeed go off on the night of the crime. It's true that the camera had been set up by the Lordly Taylor staff. However, the program used to manage that uh, data was yours. That alone would have allowed you to tamper with the data. <laughs> More orders! Mr. Godot, what is the meaning of this? Godot, I warned you about making me wait! Put now put that coffee down. My eleventh cup. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I mean at least he's not constantly flirting with the person. Yeah. I mean, it got weirdly horny last time. <laughs> I've promised to drink no more than seventeen during a trial. <laughs> Which means I'm still good to the last drop. That sounds so much worse coming from you. With the smooth jazz mm -hmm. and the conversation he had with Ron last time. Yep. However, the defense has a very good point. A good point? So what? We are... Shut up. <laughs> All the travelers on a road of infinite points. Um, I think he's got his points mixed up with his other points. You mean facts? Yes. <sighs> I hate you. So you say this photograph was taken ahead of time. And that the statue was moved in order to make it match. It's a very interesting idea. However... There's one point that can't be denied, which is something completely unconnected and frivolous, <laughs> that it's only a possibility. There might be evidence pointing towards it, but we're going to ignore that and go, but look at the universe. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker. <sighs> Men that are trapped by the chains of maybe can never reach their dreams. Who the fuck is talking about reaching dreams, bro? We're talking about what the fuck happened. <laughs> That's very true. So mystical and distracting from the point. No way. Don't fall for that, your honor. Hey, Mr. Damask. Y yes? If there's no funny business in your actions as Mask Damask, there should be no problem with you telling us your tr your tragedy. Might as well say that. Your st strategy. So let's hear it. Yes, please provide this court with your testimony. 
about your plan to steal the sacred urn. Sacred urn heist. I first received the request from Lordly Taylor about 20 days ago. The urn was placed in a box, and Zvari, it was then sent to the warehouse. Hence, I was actually unable to see the urn for myself until the day of the crime. I knew it was an extremely valuable treasure, so I sent my car ten days beforehand. Beforehand? I then handled security by myself to ensure that my crime would go smoothly. At last, I held the urn in my hand for the first time at 1 a.m. on October 12th. That's pretty much all the stuff we've heard before, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but we will find the truth hidden in the nuggets of information he gave. New information. Nuggets of new information he gave. Witness, you're sure there are no mistakes this time? Zari! That is not a response! It's like, sure, bud. Alright. <laughs> Hello. Very well, then, Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross examination. Best papa in the world. Best papa in the world. He gives no fucks. Nope. Mr. Atme, if you really are a mask to mask, then you also wrote this calling card, correct? But of course! Is there a problem, uh, a problem with that calling card? Allow me to read a passage from the calling card that mask to mask has written. Take good care of the speckled urn. Now, the speckled here surely refers to this pink pattern on the sacred urn. Yes, that is true. But so what? I'm still a rock star. I got my rock moves. And I don't need you! Oh dear. <laughs> Truth be told, there's no way that Master Mask could have known about this pattern. What do you mean? This pink spotted pattern on the urn is actually nothing more than paint stains. Paint stains! And these stains did not appear until after the urn had been taken to Lordly Taylor. <laughs> I'm not finding this joke to be very funny, Mr. Trite. The day that the sacred urn was taken to the, sac the sacred warehouse, <laughs> I just saw it above and yep. read it again. Yep. <laughs> Take it to the warehouse. broken due to human error, or should I say, an error-prone human? Oh, poor Pink <laughs> Andrews. And that's when the pink paint got on the earth. You can't be serious. And yet this calling card clearly mentions the paint pattern. Which means, Detective Atme had seen this urn long before the crime ever took place. In fact, he saw it when this fake photo was taken. <laughs> and because this photo is a fake, your alibi for the night of the murder no longer holds water. <laughs> what was that? Guau, wow, wow. I just went, ran with it. <laughs> <laughs> Witness, do you have anything to say for yourself? La 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 la. Alright, that did it. He's broken. Um, Nick, I think he's still a little early. It's still a little early. Uh, da, da, da. Da, da. I think, I think, I think. 
Uh, I think it's still a little early for a victory pose. I would love to see Maya doing that. I think you're being I a little crazy right it's now, a Phoenix. Little bit too early, okay? <laughs> huh? This bitch. <laughs> ha! <laughs> it's so sad. No one <laughs> has any conviction these days. Conviction, you say? Yesterday. We all decide, uh, decided unanimously that this man was masked the mask. Yeah, we were fucking wrong! <laughs> and now we're calling him a murderer? You don't think we're being a tad fickle? That's a good point. It's not like things can change as information comes through. No way. Don't fall for that too, Your Honor. You say that Luke Atme was the one who killed Kane Bullard? Hello, yeah, that's what we've been saying for a bit now, bruh. Then let me ask you this. I didn't ask it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> My apologies. Then let me ask you this. <laughs> an excellent point. <laughs> <laughs> an, ex an excellent point. I almost went to Maya there with the shit. An excellent point. An excellent point. <laughs> oh my god. Motive, Mr. Wright! Motive! Might you marry a murderous motive manifest? Fucking what? <laughs> when we're already tired and disoriented, they're just like, how about some tongue twisters? Right. Nick, he's giving a second wind. If he prepared an alibi and pinned his crime on Ronda Light, as you say, he must have a very strong motive for murder. The only one with any motive we've seen is Rhonda Light. Isn't that right, Detective? Indeed! According to my own research, the boy's motive is clear. Your research don't mean jack shit here! Without a motive, it's nearly impossible to prove guilt in a murder case. Now then, maybe you can enlighten us as to what the f fuck is going on here? And the defendant's motives. I'd be honored to, sir old timer. Say that again. <laughs> old <laughs> <laughs> old motherfucker. <laughs> They're doing everything they can to make Ron look suspicious. Despite our lack of hard information. <laughs> I just heard it in my mind. I had to do it. Fair enough. This may be our only chance. <laughs> hard. What? You did the angel voice uh, uh, as angel would have been like, ha, <laughs> hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Motive for murder. These fucking angels just keep on coming. Right. Kinky. <laughs> <laughs> I look at me. Had no point of contact with the victim whatsoever. Kay Bullard decided to investigate Master Mask and simply mischief who he has. Who he was. was. <laughs> Not has, was. Was? Was. It was Mr. Bullard who, were, who wrote the blackmail letter and sent it to Ron Delight. <laughs> <laughs> R's and L's are just. Whoa, whoa. Excuse you. My boys, take a breath. Hey, Frumpy. Yeah, he jumped up. He's allowed. Come on up. Nick. Up, up. up. Now, relax. I know, hurting instinct. I get it. Leave him up. Leave him be. I want to chase him. And it was again Mr. Bullard who harbored a grudge against Mr. Delight for his betrayal. <laughs> just for his bitch. <laughs> Mr. Bullard's mistake is quite like excusable. Him, and it, because of the, the prosody you used, it sounded like you were just gonna stop at bitch. <laughs> because of his bitch! Mr. Bullard's mistake, mistake is quite excusable. The defendant truly believe he is masked a mask. That is why Mr. Delight saw it fit to kill Kane Bullard. Truly a tragedy. So the victim, Kane Bullard, 
Blackmail the defendant. This is the blackmail letter found in the defendant's apartment, even though you've had access to it the whole time. All right. A handwriting test confirms that Mr. Bullard was indeed the one who wrote the letter. What? Blackmailed letter updated to court record. It was indeed written by Mr. Bullard. Very well. <laughs> Mr. Wright, begin your cross examination. Ostrich. Same Z's. Oh my god. Even the papa was exhaustible. Sleepy dogs, my boys. Soon. <laughs> Soon we go sleepy boys. If I. What Mind. Was... What was that? It was like a pop. Mm. Mind if I ask a few questions, Detective At Me? Well, if it's just a few, I guess it's alright. I mean, you don't really have a choice. When you said that this letter was addressed to Ron Delight, I couldn't help but notice one major contradiction. C -c contradiction I don't know where a walking contradiction like you <laughs> I do like him for this. Gets Say off it. saying that. He is a sassy boy. You're one to talk. It's a fucking nugget. <laughs> I should rename him Gadot. My bearded dragon. Just Sassy Bean. Sassy, Sassy Bean. This is At times like this, why are you so obsessed with this? Men are made to express themselves with their fists. Why don't you show us what you've got? Are you just trying to fight me in court? <laughs> Show what you got there, Junior. Fist to cuffs! Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly what it would be. Indeed, time to man up, Mr. Wright. Beat the shit out of each other in my courtroom. <laughs> Relax, Judge. She's... Jesus. Shows the contradiction evidence in the contents of the blackmail letter. Take a good look at this newspaper clipping. That nose, though. Right. It contains a picture of the tier of... I keep saying, wanting to say Iman because I've been like listening to Critical Role stuff. Yeah. Emanon, the stolen jewel. What about it? The problem is this jewel's color. The fact that color is red. Immediately, my brain was like, ding! <laughs> uh, explaining sensory overload to people is so weird because they're like, what do you mean? <laughs> How does this affect anything? Trust me, it just does. <laughs> I'm not much for discussing color myself. According to the clipping, the color of the stolen jewel was blue. However, in the blackmail letter, a totally different jewel is mentioned. I'll take that red diamond you received the other day. Red? Which means the red diamond described in the blackmail letter is not the tear of Eminon that was that Master Mass stole at all. <laughs> Shine bright, check the diamond. <laughs> <laughs> you made a completely valid point, but what is it? <laughs> What is your point, Mr. Trite? So are you trying to say that this blackmail letter was intended for someone else? That is what you're trying to say, right, Trite? Is that what you're tr <laughs> trying to say? What is happening, right, Mr. Wright? Well, what is it you're trying to say? Can right, y'all shut the fuck up and leave me alone? Yeah! 
This is who Kane Bullard was actually blackmailing. The motherfucker with a red diamond. You know, the diamond on his fucking finger? Naturally, it was you, Detective At Me. The dude with a red diamond. Do you have some sort of basis for that claim? Your fucking magnificent finger. <gasps> <laughs> You have personally involved me in every single mess. Nope. You have been personally involved in. <laughs> you have personally involved me. You've literally dragged my ass over the coals for this. <laughs> you have been personally involved in every single mass to mass case. The cat is like aggressively shitting. Say <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? They're with like, it? I need to shit, so they're just scratching like a madman. And in the last case, you recovered what was stolen and received a jewel as your reward. Yeah, what has he told us about, sir? Just let him burn for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Before I say his phrase. <laughs> jewel. Probably the one wrapped conspicuously around your finger. That red diamond ring. <laughs> Short circuiting. <laughs> that is the red diamond referred to in the letter. Which means that Kane Bullard wrote that letter to uh in order to blackmail you. Gun! The biggest of snoots. Right. Order! Order in the court! Objection. No! <laughs> <laughs> it seems you've gone too far with your childish pranks, Mr. Trite. Oh, I don't like the way he said that. Kane Bullard blackmailing Luke at me. Are you for real? Quite. <laughs> yes, I am. Nick, come on, stand up to him. Cafe. <laughs> <laughs> then riddle me this. <laughs> then answer me this. The blackmail letter contains the following passage. If you don't want your identity revealed to the world. That he's a sham and a con artist? Mm -hmm. Yes, it certainly does. Kane Bullard threatened to make Luke at me's identity public knowledge. An identity he wanted to keep a secret. So just what was that identity? I am so exhausted. <laughs> My body's like, you're sick, go to bed. I'm like, but I gotta do stuff. At me killed Kane Bullard because he was afraid of his secret becoming known. What was the identity he wanted to keep secret? This is what it's all, it all comes down to, Nick. I know. The identity that Luke At me wanted to desperately keep secret was his identity as... A blackmailer. Blackmailer? He's a blackmailer. He did blackmail Ron. <laughs> Luke at me was a blackmailer. Objection. Hey now, isn't that a little different from what you've been saying? You said that Kane Bullard was the one blackmailing Luke at me. You are correct. <laughs> you saying that at me was blackmailing someone else on top of that? You are correct. <laughs> uh, you have to admit that does sound a little odd. It's not odd. It's the only thing that makes any sense. Kane Bullard was blackmailing Luke at me. But Ron Delight was also being blackmailed by a certain someone. So did you start receiving blackmail letters after this incident? Yes, just a few days after the Tear of Eminon heist. After that, I started getting the plans in, in the mail. I received plans from someone, very kind person, incredibly detailed plans. Detailed plans! In which case, that would mean that Ron Delight was actually mask to mask. That is what we are claiming. Someone else came up with the plans and had Mr. Delight steal his, his targets for him. My eyelids won't stop closing. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> and that someone was none other than Luke at me. <laughs> Shh! Silence. 
<laughs> now I see. It's all becoming clear. What is? When you're in grade school, you receive the same report card every year. Careless with a tendency to jump to conclusions. Am I wrong? I mean, no, but that doesn't change anything. How did you know? You said that I look at me with blackmailing Arondelite. In which case, I would naturally know all about his relation to Master Mask. Well, yes. Arondelite started receiving plans for his second crime onward, correct? Which means I learned of his identity when he committed the first crime. Good point. You certainly couldn't have blackmailed him otherwise. In that case, let's get some hot bitter evidence. During the first crime, how did Luke at me know that Ronda Light was masked a mask? They're in the same fucking picture, dude. I think I see it. See what? When you were in grade school, you received the same report card every year. Gets into lots of mischief trying to be the center of attention. Well, what do you mean? This newspaper clipping. It has a picture of you and Ron Delight in his guard uniform. It seems that Mass to Mass didn't just disappear into thin air. He just took off his outfit and hid it in the bucket. That... that sounds far too stupid to be true! Poor Ron. Correct. With tricks like that, he couldn't fool a baby, let alone an ace detective. Luckily, that's not who we're dealing with. And that's when you figured it out, Miss Ratney. That when you learned that under his mask, mask to mask, mask to mask to mask with the mask and the What though? Wasn't he supposed to be mask to mask? Not only that, it looks like he wasn't even an ace detective. Oh, I can't believe it. He was a slimy blackmailer. What a fraud. Tried to pass himself off as an ace detective. Get him! <laughs> Why you? How dare you expose me like that? Mm. Why I mean, I mean, I never blackmailed anyone in my life. I'm a famous and proud ace detective, and and also master mask. How dare you expose Why me? Why can't you understand that? How dare you expose me? Not that it's true. <laughs> I'm afraid you're neither a proud thief nor an ace detective. You're a blackmailer and a murderer. That is your true identity. Why, yo? How dare you even dare- Oh, oh, Jesus, nope, nope. <laughs> <laughs> it's enough to make one laugh! Bro. I don't know what just happened, but it was worth it. I was like, I'm not gonna read all that fucking shit. Nope. <laughs> it would seem we finally. Okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that was quite a performance by Mr. Adney. I wonder what the new neighbors think of us just sounding like turkeys. <laughs> Bailiff, please prepare a cell for Mr. Adney. Objection. No. <laughs> <laughs> fucking face. The hammer that strikes too fast has no time to aim. Shut up! What do you mean? I'm already prepared to, deli to deliver my ruling. Well, I don't like that. <laughs> Allow me to say one thing. No. <laughs> I'll be the one to judge. The fuck you will! You don't get much more in your face than that. It appears that your claws weren't quite sharp enough, Mr. Trite. What do you... It's true that you've proven a lot of things. Things like... The fact that this smooth jazz makes it seem like I'm trying to flirt with everyone in this room. <laughs> Whenever the camera lands on someone, it just sounds like I want to fuck them. <laughs> It just seems weird. Hey, it. Seems like 
look at me was a filthy blackmailer. And that he wasn't at Lordly Taylor the night of the murder. That's right. That's why he was the one who killed Mr. Bullshit. <laughs> but. There's still one thing you have yet to prove. What's that? Just because he wasn't at the warehouse doesn't mean he wasn't at the murder scene. Therefore, if you can't prove that this pitiful excuse for a man was at KB Security, then I don't see how a verdict can be delivered. No way! Why do you do this to me every time? I want to retire. So much bullshit. Help me! <laughs> Order in the court. Well, Mr. Wright. This is it. This is the final round. I've got to prove that Atme was at Bullard's off Mr. Bullard's office on that night. But can you really prove that? I don't fucking know. That's long enough, Mr. Trite. I want to hear your answer. That night, Luke Atme was at KB Security, and the defense... I can't prove it. We don't have proof. Uh, I can't prove it. <laughs> I can't prove it. I can't prove it. Just as I thought. Listen, you! I've given you plenty of proof over the years. Shut up! But, if we were to hear more of Detective Atme's testimony... Objection! No, that doesn't serve my purpose. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's as far as you go, Mr. Trite. What do you mean? Whom's the fuck you think you be? Go home! <laughs> <laughs> I won't allow for any more testimony. That's what I mean. What? Have you forgotten? Look at me is here after we interrupted his own trial. And you failed to prove... No, you just stopped me from proving it because you're a dun douche de fungal. Dun douche de fungal? I don't know what to call him anymore. And I don't want to end up saying something by accident, like, because I'm tired. I don't want to say something yeah, that's enough. actually rude, so I'm like, make shit up. <laughs> and you failed to prove that he committed the murder in the allotted time I gave you. I think it's time for this witness to return to his own trial. And face his guilty verdict. Verdict? Verdict is mask to mask. No! Well now, Sir Lawyer, it seems that love wins out in the end. After all. Fucking pause there. <laughs> when you're so tired, you're just like, I am sentence. the ace detective, as the well as Master Mask. My verdict will verify that. Just as Run the Light will verify that he is the true murderer. We're literally like deflating balloons tonight. Oh. It's like, energy! <laughs> I declare that with the full force of my ace detectiveness. Howdy! <laughs> Order in the coin! <laughs> yep. Mm. That's enough deliberation over this witness. I can't believe this. At this rate, Ron is... Don't, don't give up now, Nick. But I'm falling asleep. We still have tomorrow. We can look for more evidence and... By then, it'll be too late. We have the Melba right there. Huh? Well, why? Double jeopardy. One of the basic rules of any court of law. Double jeopardy? Should a defendant be tried and found innocent in court... That defendant cannot be tried again for the same crime, which is fucking stupid. This is a fundamental rule of all courts. And it applies to this witness as much as it applies to anyone else. Mr. Atme will be found guilty in a matter of minutes. Guilty is mask to mask, which means... You will be innocent as far as the murder of Kane Bullard is concerned. No way! Yeah, it's kind of bullshit. We don't really like to look at other evidence, we just like to 
decide that things are true because they're convenient. Anyway, the fact that you were unable to prove Mr. Atme's guilt of that... I wasn't able to... It's not that I wasn't able to prove it! Y'all just shut me up! Guilt in that crime here means that he will never again be tried as Kane Bullard's murderer. I mean, that's... That's literally all your fault. Y'all wouldn't let me. Douches? Now there's nothing I can possibly do to win. Even if Ron is, proc is proclaimed to be innocent. The real killer, Luke Atme, will go free. Well, kind of. You have cross-examined uh, every statement the witness had... Witness? Witness has made here today. Even though he clearly should have made more, we didn't allow you to create more to question. Right. And as long as there is no more testimony, which I will make sure there is none apparently, I'm afraid I have to declare that there will be no further questioning of the witness. Are there any objections? Fucking ya? Yeah? But you won't let me object! Then I hereby end the cross-examination of Luke at me. I think I see it. Your Honor, when you were a child, this is what was on your report card every year. Has poor hearing and often makes mistakes as a result. How did you? Phoenix, raise your head up high. Have you forgotten what I used to tell you? A lawyer is someone who smiles, no matter how bad it gets. Fucking <laughs> me, I just, like, blasted the judge. <laughs> that voice. No way. That voice I've been hearing for two years. Long time no see, Phoenix. Really? Has it been that long? Mia. This is the true power of the Korean channeling technique. I know that... It's really Maya who's standing before me. Right now, she's my mentor, Mia Fei. Now, let's do this. Th there's nothing more we can do, Mia. I'm being s- <laughs> So fetist again. Have you not heard of my self-sabotage? Without any more testimony, I can't cross-examine. Not yet. The testimony's not over yet. Tell that to the judge! What do you mean? Your Honor, just now you said something very interesting. You have cross-examined every statement the witness has made here today. Yes, that's true, but... Unfortunately, Your Honor, you're forgetting something. Earlier after the last cross-examination, the witness made a number of remarks. Well now, Sir Lawyer, it seems that love wins out in the end, after all. I am the Ace Detective as well as Master Mask. My verdict will verify that. Just as Rhonda Lights will verify that he is the true murderer. I declare that with full force of my Ace Detectiveness. Yes, but these comments appear to have no importance whatsoever. Very well. Then shall we prove their importance via cross-examination? At any rate, as long as, there's wi as the witness made these remarks, we, the defense, assert our rights to question them. Is that all right with you, prosecutor? Is something the matter, Mr. Godot? Finally having a heart attack from all that caffeine? Uh, nothing. Oh, Sir Lawyer, looks like you've won step too late. If you think such falsehoods would do anything to me, look at... Let's hear it. Simp! <laughs> <laughs> huh? It's true that the witness made some remarks. So then, let's hear this last bit of the cross-examination. Simp! <laughs> Hello, my boy. Oh, hello. Look at this. Sucker. I know. Hello. He does that sometimes. Hello, good boy. 
he does this when it's time for bed too. He'll he'll he's like, ah. he'll, he'll jump up on my bed and go next to me and just roll against my body, being like, yeah. "Dad, snuggle me before I go to sleep." I'm like, "Fucking hell, dude! <laughs> <laughs> just just snuggle up. It's fine." Mr. Godot, what are you? Very well then, Mr. Look at me. I'm going to allow the defense to cross-examine your earlier remarks. The defense would like to hear why the why you declared a defendant to be the true murderer. So please, give us one last bit of testimony. I, uh, Phoenix, this is it. This is our absolute last chance. Yes, Chief. Last testimony. Ah! Indeed, it is true that I was not at Lordly Taylor. I had to leave to see about another vital, vit, vitally important job request. I had known about the date beforehand, so I had this photograph ready. My brilliant deduction was that information. That in, blah, blah, mm. <laughs> My brilliant deduction was what informed me that the true culprit was Ron the Light. And thanks to the key card and wallet, it was abundantly clear that he was there. How the fuck did you find out about that? It was also able to make a deduction from the buzzer, which only sounded once. The button did not have any fingerprints on it. Why? The victim would have left prints if he sounded it, which means the killer sounded it. Mr. Light was wearing his damask outfit, which me which is why he left no prints. And the blackmail letter. The victim likely just mistook the color of the jewel. Zvari! Therefore, all the evidence points to that poor boy. Mm. I don't like you. This testimony actually seems to hold up pretty well. The witness's earlier remarks do not appear to have been hastily prepared. All of his points have been explained, and none of them seem to contradict anything. But of course. But how did you know about the emergency buzzer? Uh, the police investigation documents went directly through me. And I always look over all the documents. It's elementary, Sir Lawyer. I wasn't the one who asked you that, so it should have been towards the judge, but okay. Grr. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to make it... Are you going to make even more trouble for us now, Sir L Sir Lawyer? Give me that sass. I will not allow any of your usual shenanigans, Mr. Wright. Oh. My shenanigans get innocent people innocent. Declared innocent. I can speak. Yep. Yes, Your Honor. <laughs> we cannot postpone Luke at Me's trial any longer. This is your last chance. Help. He objects. <laughs> hi, Nix. <laughs> it's not you. Mm -hmm. You can go say hi now. Go say hi. Just shut up when you do. Go say hi. Oh, the cat might be there. Oh, <laughs> that's totally what it is. I'm like, I want to go say hi to her, but I think Kitty. I think Opie's in the way. Go see Nat. I think he's just scared. <laughs> he's so scared. <laughs> uh, Did I my, help the my cat? Dog is petrified of the cat. Just the one cat, though. It seems that. What? Yeah, he's been all right. Yeah. Dog is still petrified, but that's a different thing entirely. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I didn't hear. It seems that the party's about to begin. Well, Phoenix? There isn't any evidence that contradicts that testimony. So it would seem. What do you mean, so it would seem? Listen, Phoenix. Pointing out contradictions doesn't always mean you have to present evidence, does it? At any rate, this is our last chance. If you can't point out a case-breaking contradiction, you lose. That's all there is to it. 
Cup number 17. The last cup. It seems like the time has come to put an end to this trial. Does he just have, like, a giant fucking percolator? Like, what's happening? Not a clue. I have to find a fatal contra- Huh? Nixon here? Yeah. Hi. I wanted to say hi, but I didn't know where the kitty was. Yeah, that's fair. I don't blame you. <laughs> Nate, the kitty's so mean. He is. I'm so sorry my kitty's mean. <laughs> You're lying. And I need to point, uh, to point it out without presenting evidence. Which means all I can do is find a con uh, contradictory remark and press it. Remember. You only get one chance. Yeah, no pressure. Thanks. Bye. Very well then, Mr. Wright. Please begin your final cross-examination. You make it sound like I'm gonna die tomorrow, sir. That's testimony. Bitch! <laughs> Mr. At me, about this last remark. Objection. Shut the fuck up. You still don't get it, do you, Trite? This isn't the time to be pressing the witness on every... I can't show evidence. This is all I can do, so shut your fucking face. I will press everything I need to. I'm afraid you're the one who doesn't, who still doesn't get it, Mr. Godot. What? Mr. Atme, it seems you've finally admitted that you were in the CEO's office on the night of the murder. How can you say that? Let's review your testimony, shall we, Mr. Atme? The button did not have any fingerprints on it. Why? Mr. Delight was wearing his mask to mask outfit, is that correct? I indeed, that's what I said. My deductions are absolutely foolproof. More like your deductions prove that you're a fool. I I'm sorry, whatever do you mean? For some reason, I'm starting to get really thirsty. Better crack out the 18th cup, bruh. Right. When exactly did we learn uh, the fact that Ron Delight was dressed as mask to mask when he went to the scene of the crime? That was, um... That was just a few hours ago. Back when my sixth cup was looking at me with a cold stare. Huh. Oh? Did I forget to mention it before? I'm sorry. I just never had a chance to mention it up until now. In other words, you couldn't have known Mr. <laughs> Etme. That's right. The defendant had yet to tell anyone, uh, anyone else this fact before this morning. Therefore, the only people who should know this are those who have been watching this trial. Okay, I'm done. Do you understand now, Detective Atme? There's no way that you should have known about that. Uh, day. Hi, Nick. Sit your butt. All the way down. Right down. Good boy. Don't touch. Hi <laughs> from me. Don't come and say hi. Finding Mount Mount Ever pillows. Right. And don't mind. You were in the next room being tried as mask to mask. It's like, oh, the window's closed. <laughs> Shit. Oh. <laughs> so then enlighten us. Just how do you know about that piece of information? Objection. Come on. This detective must have known about it. He probably had plenty of chances to find out beforehand. 
and it's those chances that I want to discuss next. That night, Mr. Delight was wearing his mask to mask outfit. There is one and only one way for Detective Atme to have found that out. One way, you say? Please recall, if you will, Mr. Delight's testimony. Oh, cozy kitty. When I entered the office, there was a suspicious shadow there. I still said suspicious. Suspicious. Suspicious shadow. It's a suspicious shadow from me. You making fun of me, Dad? <laughs> yes, I am. He's so like, oh, I wanted to lie down on her lap. That'd be cozy, but he's like, I'm too busy being a sundere. Come here, sundere. Did you read this? Uh, for a second, my client witnessed the real... I keep wanting to say serial killer. The real killer. Hey, Fumpo. He's a good boy. Objection! And yes, you're a good boy, too. I have kitty in my lap. But Mr. Delight never saw this his attacker. There's no way to tell whether or not the real killer was Luke at me. Do not drool on my leg. I see your tongue. And you are right over my leg. Do not drool on it. <laughs> it's with that statement that I'll turn this case on its head. Do not drool on my leg. <laughs> I can tell what you're going to do, you silly boy. Just what are you implying? Mr. Delight saw the real killer, correct? Now, if you turn that statement around... Stands to reason that the real killer had also seen Ron Delight. Oh. No. Human! No! Human! No! I shall eat you in your sleep, for no. my father starves me. <laughs> Impossible. The only feed. Even though you bug me in the morning. And then I get fed literally like what is considered unnecessarily nice food. But it's not enough, even though it's been balanced for your exact size and shape. Nix. That's right, bro. I calculated your fucking micrograms. You can't lie to me. <laughs> uh, when you, you can use math against your cat's appetite. Detective Atme, you saw Mask to Mask at the murder scene that night. You saw him when you killed Kane Bullard and assaulted Ron Delight. That was the only way you could have known that Ron was, uh... Could have known what? What Ron was wearing. Hello. Uh-oh. He has the widest elbows. <laughs> Take a good look at everyone! Unable to find a rival worth of my genius, I was forced to create one by myself. Someone punch him. Here I am, the tragic clown! Stop repeating yourself and just go away. <laughs> it's the same line you gave yesterday. But I think there's a little more meaning behind it this time. I may be an attention whore, but this guy is on another level. Right. Well, his name is Luke at me. I hate him. <laughs> I get very hateful when I'm tired. <laughs> I, your lines. I realize when people annoy me when I'm tired, I'm like, <laughs> why do you exist? <laughs> what an awfully complicated incident. Kane Bullard was blackmailing Luke at me, who was in turn blackmailing Ronda Light. And upon killing his blackmailer, Luke at me tried to frame Ron Delight. Then he claimed to be- I like that the judge is literally just saying this in case the person who played the game didn't understand what they just did. Or they took a break and then came back. <laughs> then he claimed to be guilty as mask to mask in order to escape his true crime. And to that end, he came up with this plan. To use the double jeopardy rule when making his alibi. That's Ron. At any rate, it would seem we've finally found the truth. Yep, Excuse me. 
Hang on. I came perilously close to besmirching the record of an innocent- You've said this like three times. Besmirching him with the title of murderer. Don't ignore me! Oh, I didn't realize you were- You were there. <laughs> Why wouldn't he be? Um, about the verdict. I know. You never committed any murder. That's right. I'm so glad you understand that, but... I, am. Um, I really am Master Mask! You are proven innocent, shut the fuck up! <laughs> and that case was only specifically for the urn, so... Shut your face. Uh. So, thanks to that trial yesterday, I'm innocent now, right? Uh... What was it you said? Double Jeopardy? Now that you mention it... I've been careless. Yes, you have, sir. Careless? Um, what do you think, Mia? As the defense says, the rules of double jeopardy... Je jeopardy! <laughs> of double jeopardy is absolute. A defendant can never be tried twice for a crime in which he has once been found innocent. Then, Mask to Mask is really innocent? It would seem so. For now. For now? He can't be tried for the stealing of the urn, but he could be tried for something else if he did it again. He. Now then, this court finds the defendant. Not guilty! Confetti! I can... <laughs> Boy, this is really lucky. Wait, uh, I... This isn't good. Bitch! I'm still past the mask, though. Ah, <laughs> uh, dear. You did it, Phoenix. Thanks, Mia. It's been a long time, hasn't it? Yeah. It's because Maya doesn't call on me much these days. Oh? I'm just joking, Phoenix. Don't take everything so seriously. How am I supposed to know when you're being serious about this shit? But on the other hand, Maya... She seems kind of torn these days. You mean about becoming the master of Kure the Korean Channeling School? Becoming the master means saying goodbye to our mother. Misty Fay, right? Watch over her, will you, Phoenix? Of course. Well then, see you around. Also, it doesn't mean actually saying goodbye. She just declared that. It doesn't mean she actually is dead. Mia. Ah, <sighs> sir. Mr. Wright. Um, I, uh, I don't know what to say. Congratulations, Mr. Boyd. Thank you so much. Uh, no, wait. Nothing really matters. <laughs> oh my god. Come on, just be happy already! Maya. You've been cleared of murder charges and got off as Master Master Boot. But in exchange, I lost everything. You have your fucking wife. Shut up and go home! Huh? What do you mean? Stealing security information from KB Security be Security, becoming mask to mask. I did it all for one reason. For her. You mean your wife Desiree? No, the other one. She hates criminals more than anything. Come to think of it, she was once held hostage by some robbers, wasn't she? She always said how she hated sneaky criminals. He is the sneakiest of them all. <laughs> I knew that. I knew that, but... Once I got fired from KB Security and lost all my money, I had... Lost all the money I had... She wouldn't have any reason to stay with me. I thought she would leave me for sure. So that's why you became Mask to Mask, even though you've already explained this to us. Yes, but it's all over now. It's over, isn't it? <laughs> A broken bowl can never be put back... Okay. It can, and it can be made better. Yeah, look at the urn. <laughs> That's not true. 
Right, Nick? Right. Really? Can we go back to the way things were? I mean, you have to talk to your wife. You'll be that. fine. And Nick can prove it. I can't prove shit. Talk to your wife and figure it out, bro. Can't fix all your problems. I can. I kind of wish you would check with me first. Mr. Delight, even if a bowl is broken, there is always a way to put it back together. Get some fucking paint. This fucking base. The sacred urn. Desi was the only one who f uh, was the one who found this. Desiree, your wife. She o she's always believed in you, Ron. That's why you'll be fine. You don't have to worry about anything. Because she has faith in you, there's no way she'll leave you if you ever like go past her boundary. Ah, oh, there you are. Miss Delight. You did it, Ronnie. You're innocent. I'm so happy. Oh, so she was watching, so it doesn't even matter. Yep. Thank you. I appreciate that, but, um, I suppose you don't want anything more to do with me, do you? Ronnie, why didn't you talk to me about what was going on? I had no idea you'd, you'd quit KV security. He, he did not. <laughs> I never imagined that you were really master mask either. Miss Light, what are you going to do now? What are you going to do now that you know? You're not going to really leave him, are you? Y'all should just let her express- Come on, it's obvious, isn't it? How could I ever let a wonderful man like him get away? After all, my bike's real fast. So fast, there's no way he could ever get away. Um... um. <laughs> but didn't you say that you hated criminals? Hmm? Oh, I only hate people who act all cowardly and sneaky. Like that detective. I see. Okay, sure. My Ronnie went and declared his crimes before he even committed them like a man. I just love a man who's so chivalrous. <laughs> what the fuck? Alright, sure ma'am. Chivalrous? I knew I was right about you. Every day I spend with you is filled with thrills and excitement. So he had nothing to worry about. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> they usually don't. It's usually insecurities. Take that, depression! <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Uh. Ugh. <laughs> Desi. Desiree, you really do love Ron, don't you? Why are you, did you ever question that, bro? <laughs> Nikki boy. Yes? I'm really glad I asked you to defend my Ronnie. Thank you so much. I'll never forget what you've done for us. Oh, well, uh, take care of yourself. You too, Nikki boy. I can <laughs> feel my face going red. Mr. Nick! Mystic Maya! Congratulations! Fucking <gasps> child! Uh-oh. <laughs> Talk about bad timing. Mr. Nick! How could you? What the hell was my I'll never forgive you. Never, ever. What happened? <laughs> Speak to a therapist. Maya, get your freaking cousin help. <laughs> so just as the case came to a close, so too did my consciousness. How the hell did the tiny child slap you to unconsciousness? Carry on. <laughs> Ron said a broken bowl can never be put back together. But I know that's not true. I mean, just look. Ah! Y'all really need to go to therapy though, for real. It was a perfect example of uh, one that was put back together even better than before. The stolen turnabout. The end. Oh. Recipe for turnabout. That's cute. We'll see the opening cutscene and then we'll end it for tonight. Oops, shit. Yeah? This case is extremely clear. I see no room for misinterpretation of the facts. 
It wasn't me. I swear it wasn't me. Who's not? Who wasn't me? Who wasn't me? <laughs> wasn't me? Evidence and testimony. I've seen her victim alone at this table when he drank from that coffee cup. No, you're wrong. I know what I saw. I saw. I saw. You saw? <laughs> I saw someone else there. A man. He's the real killer. <laughs> Even before Salt Bay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Poison Bay. Yeah. Why won't anyone believe me? Well, I'd say that's pretty much wraps up this case, wouldn't you? Mr. Wright. This court finds the defendant. Guilty. The court is adjourned. Someone have a nightmare? <laughs> what is happening? Our future is failure. <laughs> All right. We're gonna call this for tonight. Thank you everyone for watching the stream tonight. If you enjoyed it, if you haven't done so already, uh, you can always follow me on Twitch so you know the next time a new stream pops up. Uh, if you wish to see old videos of the past, there's a link down below for the YouTube channel. Uh, if you want to see previous spots for this game or any other games of the past. And for the people on YouTube who wish to see this later on, if you want to see the videos live, you can always pop on over to the Twitch channel links in the description of every one of my videos. If not, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel if you, don't, if you want to watch my channel. I can't fucking word right now. I probably <laughs> fucked it up, but that's fine. Uh, if you want to watch a new video pop up, you can always subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, also, he has a Patreon. That I do, that there's, I do. There's a link down below for any, if you want to see any of his art, as he is the one with my banner and my a logo. I do uh, lots of my icon, which at some point we need to update. We need to update everything. Yeah. But and I am also drawing everything. I know. You're busy. I haven't stopped. Drawing. I literally did. I, I just uploaded another one. I'm <laughs> uploading animations as well now. So nice. It's like, hey, do you want two seconds of animation? Spend two days! Yeah. That's but what yeah. I want it colored. Yeah, so for the Twitch people, there's a link down below for the Patreon. For the YouTube people, there's a link in the description. Thank you everyone for watching us tonight. Till next time. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.